guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 2 to the power of x squared is equal to 3 to the power of x. And what I'm first going to do is I'm going to rewrite 2 to the power of x squared as 2 to the power of x to the power of x. So if you guys already didn't know, if we have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So as you can see here, 2 to the power of x to the power of x, this would equal 2 to the power of x squared because x times x is x squared. Now this is equal to three to the power of x. And as you guys, if you guys already didn't notice, a solution, an immediate solution actually, is x equals zero. Because if we plug in zero for x, both of these terms would equal one, right? Because anything to the power of zero is one. However, that is not the only solution. So now I'm actually going to take the power of 1 over x on both sides. And remember, a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n, 3 to the power of x to the power of 1 over x. This is going to equal 3 to the power of x times 1 over x. And x any number times its reciprocal is simply just one, so this would just be three. This is equal to, again, x to the power of one over x is one, so this would just be two to the power of x. So now we have two to the power of x is equal to three. Now I'm gonna take the natural log on both sides, so ln on both sides. And an important property of logarithms is that let's say we have ln to the power of a, or sorry, ln of a to the power of b. This, for this, we can actually move the exponent, which in this case is b, to the front of the logarithm. So this would actually equal b times ln a. So in this case, we have ln 2 to the power of x. And we can think of x as b and 2 as a. So we can actually move this exponent x to the front of the logarithm. So this would be x times ln 2 is equal to ln 3. Now I'm going to divide both sides by ln 2. So then these two cancel out, and I'm left with x is equal to ln 3 over ln 2. So this is our answer.